Here we have the Gladiator Garage Works 24 inch wall gearbox. Like its bigger cousin, this is a premier item and it's welded. So in comparison to the ready to assemble, in theory it should be stronger. Uh, also in comparison to its premier cousins, this item comes in a lot smaller of a box. So not too surprising in that regard and in typical gladiator fashion with their packaging every single package regardless of who i get it from whether it's gladiator directly and the shipping company that they use jb hunt <laughs> fedex ups doesn't matter sds dhl i've gotten it from everybody Oh yeah, you can see the big old pit. So with any luck, this item won't be damaged. Unlike some of the other Premier items that I have purchased. The ones that I've had the worst luck with were the tall gearboxes. So as always, I'll open the box up and I'll show you the contents. One thing that I haven't really taken the initiative to do in all the reviews that I've done would be to show you the inner contents or at least the inner workings of the packaging. The reason why I did that in the beginning was well I thought that it would be easier to just describe what I was seeing rather than showing you. Uh, Premier in some regards does have better uh, baffling versus RTA. RTA typically has uh, pieces stacked on top of each other, they're wrapped in cellophane, and they may or may not have styrofoam to try and absorb some of the shock that the uh, item may take in transit. Uh, with Premier I've never seen any kind of styrofoam, yet it's usually these little cardboard inserts here, and realistically uh, they're not bad so depending upon where they're placed it's actually pretty pretty slick the kicker is is that uh, your protection ceases uh, <laughs> once you go beyond the corners and that's not atypical so yeah so if you get any kind of impact on the face of any corner uh, of any side you're kind of you're kind of screwed so I just thought I'd go ahead and at least show you what I'm talking about. Go figure. There's an issue. So what I did is I just went ahead and cut very gently along the sides to open up the box. And yeah, I'm seeing if I tighten the plastic wrap here, you can see that there's some cosmetic issues on the face of this piece. Whether that's from its manufacturing or what, I'm not really sure. But yeah, it runs the length, it's even down here, too. So, go fucking figure, Gladiator. Hmm. Well, go figure just like I've been talking about through most of my videos. It always seems like there's something. It seems like every third or fourth item there's a situation that warrants some kind of return or repair or replacement of some kind of part and yeah, take a look. The box is dented. <laughs> this is the last piece that I intended on purchasing you know to be honest i've been kind of getting weary with rolling the dice with this company for as long as i have over the last three months and while i yeah i mean it is annoying when the company delivers they deliver but this is just kind of ridiculous to a degree huh. am i surprised sadly not but am i a little relieved yeah, this is going to be the last piece I'll buy from this company. 
So upon taking this item further out of its box, inside, once you open up the door, you'll find the shelf. Nothing really remarkable there. Magneto strip, which you apply. Uh, registration information. You can see the, the big old dent in the box. And then I noticed this at the bottom. The Gladiator badge is coming off, and I thought, hmm, I wonder why. To a degree. I kind of noticed that if you look at the, the door, and it seems like it's a little oblong here, or kind of complete shape. So you see that? There's that dent there. But just give me a moment. I'm going to gently lower the box. Look at that. Look at that huge ass dent. That's just a joke. So it looks like Sears is going to owe me an entirely new box. The trouble is, is that I'm 45 miles away from a Sears. Go fucking figure. So this is what this cabinet looks like hung up. For those of you that don't have one yourself or haven't seen it, it's pretty easy. It comes with one mounting bracket that's pre-installed. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, unfortunately. It's already bolted up, so you're basically good to go. It's kind of a shame, really. I mean, if you listen to some of my reviews, I make mention of how some of the products that I've received have been damaged. And, you know, that's something that you never really have seen because, at least for my videos, because either the situation's been resolved already with some frustration and I've got the better product uh, that's ready to go. And then that's what I present and I just mentioned, yes, I had a problem with this one, blah, 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 blah. As far as, as, far as this product, like I said, I'm, I'm not, it's been, it's been three products since I bought I've had two that were fine, and the, the third is damaged. So, it's, again, it, in my surprise, not really for a second. I was hoping that I could conclude making these videos for a while and just show you what the 24-inch box is all about without any issue, but part of me thought that I should wait to make this video until I had this resolved. But at the same time, I guess I'm not really doing anybody any favors by not showing them that, yeah, I mean, this, this shit does happen, and it happens frequently. So, when you buy this product line, cross your fingers and hang on, because <laughs> it may be a little bit of a bumpy ride. I wish anybody well that buys this, these products. However... It, the inconsistency with delivery in terms of nailing it and giving you what you paid for without any hassle it's it's not there all the time so that's the 24 inch gearbox go figure